And the summer kitchen was like up yeah. on the hill and the original house was down in the floodplain. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, well, why would you build in a floodplain? I can tell you that a lot of times the original house, which the log house, would have been moved and attached as a summer kitchen to a newer structure. That's very, very common. See, there's this, there's oh. this stick built like mine is. Like my summer kitchen is, it's just stick. Right. Yeah. And theirs is almost identical. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's, yeah. Building it's, technique. Yeah. See, and, yeah. See, the, the misnomer a lot of people ooh. say, because I'm also. What the hell was that? Me being old. Jesus uh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what did you even do? I, I lifted my butt up for a second, but that. And that, that, that made you make, make an old, old man, man noise. Yes. So that, that sounded kind of painful. <laughs> you, should have, you should have heard me all weekend. My father had me in the basement slaving away with two by fours and uh, shit. And I, I like every morning I wake up and I was like, oh, uh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I couldn't, God. I couldn't stand up straight you until yesterday afternoon. And, I, I, sounds, I, I, and then yeah. like every once in a while, I'm just like, you just go, oh, yeah. <laughs> I can isolate his, too. I was going to say, that, that needs to be in there. Yeah. That's the open right there. Did you catch the... Oh. I got it, yeah. Well, yeah. time to get the work done. Oh. I don't know if the low lumbar support's great for a bed. Do you want to switch chairs? No, these chairs suck. Mm -hmm. Do you want like, to this particular stool sucks in the worst way. No, it's Yeah, fine. that's why we got that new one for the guests so they're not tortured. Listen, I, one of us <laughs> is not going to be able to stand up at the end of this, and it might just as well be me because right. I can't stand up at the end of these things anyway. <laughs> it doesn't matter what chair I'm in. Uh, but, okay, so you were saying, though, uh, about the the cabins and the, the... So they would have moved that to make that the summer kitchen on the new house. That's interesting. Yeah. Or, I don't... This doesn't look like a cabin, though. Or, this is, or they took the log house... And they built up against that. So either oh, they moved it or too. they built up against that makes it. Sense. So that's yeah. that's very, very common. Because the farmers recycled everything. Sure. Absolutely. Everything. Yeah. You mean they didn't have a Lowe's that they can just go and get new yeah, supplies they from? They recycled Interesting. everything. And a lot of people... I, I do the I sit on the Gettysburg Civil War Roundtable does the Civil War building plaques mm -hmm, so yeah. I sit on that committee and a lot of people will say will come to us and say well we're on the 1858 map so the 1858 map yeah. shows who who owned where and a lot of people will say well we're on the 1858 map there we are and I'll say but is that is the that house the right you're house, living yeah. in now? Right. Yeah. Or was that another structure that was there? Because there's a map we found that has the Swisher Farm on it. And uh, it's funny because we're looking at it two different ways. I look at it and I go, well, this is this is the house that we're in right now. It's Mart. Look, it's right up on the road, just like it is now. Yeah. And she goes, no, I think that's the original. And I go, no. Yeah. The, it's not the original. It's right yeah. up on the road. Because look where the barn is yeah. in relation to the You're barn. Like about the 1872 map? I think it is. No. Yeah. It, mine's on the 72 map, but it's not on the 58 map. So there's your yeah. ding, ding, ding of construction yeah. time. Mm -hmm. But they don't show barns on 72. Well, there's there's, a, there's so two structures on whatever see, I'm looking has, at. Okay. See, mine on the 72 map has my outbuildings. Like it's got my summer oh, kitchen. Oh, you got it's the got indoor. My... You got the burrow. Yeah, because yeah, in yeah. the burrows I, the they actually showed. Yeah, 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 they actually showed. But okay. like for the outskirts, they'll just show the dot. All right, that makes sense. Or two dots indicates two buildings. Okay, not makes an sense. outbuilding. It would be two houses. Oh, t so just dots. Oh yeah, I've seen maps like that. Yeah. Okay. Now there's also the Warren Commission map from 1868. Yeah. Um, that shows. The barn. It'll yeah. show the where the crops were, or the fence lines, and it'll show it'll show the barn, and the and the construction material. We're talking. <laughs> <laughs> Eric just stood up again. We're talking. We're talking to Kendra Debaney. She runs. I don't have to put up with this bullshit. <laughs> she runs uh, Gettysburg House Histories. It's a Facebook page, and also, it's a uh, it's a business. She'll uh, she'll come and do your history, as she said to us uh, earlier. Um, you hire me to make your walls talk for you. Or actually, she said them. Hire me to make their walls talk for them, but I'm I'm changing the pronouns on it. So anyway, I figured uh, I would just let you know that. 
real quick here because we just started this. We just started. Oh, we're actually recording. Yeah, now. we've been recording this whole time, well, and, be... and the discussion began. And so, wait. You're listening to Addressing Gettysburg. Okay, so Thanks, now we're Sam, take us on in. <laughs> so now we're officially started. Um, okay, so I got a question for you. I live in a house in town. It's up on Water Street. Okay. Now, I'm looking at this house. Now, I'm no architectural expert, but I, I kind of have, uh, uh, it's like everything else I do. I play by feel, you know? Yeah. And Which means he just makes it up. I make it up as I go, and usually I guess pretty right, um, like within a ballpark of 10 years or whatever, or, or 10 whatever it is. So... Um, are you sure about that? <laughs> well, I think I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah usually, it, pr- it proves that I'm I'm not like necessarily right on the money, but I'm at least in the bank account. I'm <laughs> never I'm never on the money or in the bank account. I mean, there there some of these you have to there some of for some of these houses it's a big chunk of twenty years. You really well. This is the d- so this is house. yes. It's this house is the to house basis because they're all different. Right. So my landlord. This young guy, he bought, I was a tenant before he was the landlord. He bought it a couple of years ago. Uh, but we're both, you know, history nerds. And so we got to talking. And, and so he's like, well, uh, you know, uh, the Air Force just uh, uh, transferred me to, I uh, forgot where it was, Savannah, I think. And he goes, so um, uh, I need somebody to keep an eye on the place. You know, would you like to be my, uh, and I said, yeah, sure. So he think he's like, you know, one of the things I want to get is one of those Civil War plaques uh, that says Civil War building. And I go, well, this isn't a Civil War house. And he's like, no, it is. It's, it said that the, you know, the, uh, the property was um, sold on June 30th, 1863 uh, uh, to whoever. And there were, you know, two structures on the property and everything like that. And I go, well, there were two structures, but it wasn't this structure. And he's like, how can you tell? And I go, look at the freaking house. It's like at least 1890s, early 1900s. Like there's nothing about this house that says Civil War era or pre-Civil War era. Yeah. But he's like, no, no, there was, there was something here. And I go, I go like, for, so then I find the 1872 map of, I think it was 1872 map of Gettysburg yeah. and Water Street has nothing on it. There's like a shed, I think, on our lot yeah. and nothing else. Yeah. And all the houses... There's like a row of houses that look like ours. It, to me, it looks like it, they were probably like professors' homes for the college because we're right up by the college. Yeah. And, and, and it looks to me like they were all built at the same, roughly the same time, same architect, yeah. same idea. Yeah. And it was some kind of, you know, home like that. Where, where, so I want to prove him wrong. And, and let's say I didn't know that you exist. What, what, what would I do? What would someone like me do to find, wherever they live, the history of their home? Well, if, if you don't know anything about the sources, it's hard to track down, especially some of the borough properties are really, really difficult. But, Why? Uh, because there's so much renting going on in the borough. So you have people who own, for instance, I'm doing properties for uh, the McPherson family. Mm. They own so much land and so much property. And you might actually be in McPherson land territory where really? you are. Yeah. And they own so much. So they're selling a, a lot here and they're selling a lot here and they're not recording their deeds. So a lot of times yeah. um, be- before a certain period, like the 19, I want to say it was 1920s ish, you didn't have to record a deed and you had to pay to have a de- deed recorded. So a lot of people would not record their deeds and the McPherson's were classic for that of not recording deeds so you can't trace it through the deeds you've got a people owning a ton of property Um, you've got renters so it's very hard when you're out in the country you can look and say okay it's 140 acre parcel and it's easy to trace if there's no deed it's easier to trace in the tax records because you can look through the tax records and say okay I know he's doesn't he's not carrying his 140 acres anymore, and I can go through all the names in the tax records and see who picks up a 140 acres who didn't have it the previous year. Okay. So it's much easier to trace in the borough. It's it's very difficult because you don't know where it is unless unless there's a deed. It's it's tough to trace in the in the tax records. Now, like for your property, if I was going to go in, I could look at it and say. You're not a civil war. You know, I can 
Well, I could look at it and say that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but not your renter. Yeah. So if we were going to prove him wrong, you know, I would go doing the deed of uh, first. Well, you did the deed trace, but finding out how much the property sold for. So uh-huh. on the deed, it'll say it sold for two hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, and we know that a certain amount of money means that the the, the lots developed. Okay, so right. Then you okay. Would know you, if, but you mean the t- like the time that it's sold? Right. If it costs this much, then right. there's nothing so developed like on the lot. So, like you're telling me, if it's if it sold June thirtieth, eighteen sixty three, and there's a deed, I'd go look at that deed and say, yeah, but it only sold for fifty dollars. That's right. an undeveloped. That's just a piece of land. Yeah. It's just a lot. Right. I, yeah. Whereas if it had a value, you know, five or six hundred dollars, I'd say, hey, there's a house on there, and that's another way you can trace it is. Through the for, through the deeds, figuring out what they paid, or going through the tax records and figuring out what they you know what the tax is on it. Yeah, I I think he wants so badly to own a Civil War house. Yeah, and instead of going and buying one, he, yeah. he wants to make yeah. the one he bought a Civil War house. Yeah. And I keep saying to him, I'm like. Ooh. I go, isn't it just cool enough that you own a house on piece a piece and, of the battlefield that's not national park and, and you know you, it's, you know, And I it's, always say a lot of people say, "Oh, it's not a civil war house, it's not an old house." Blah, blah. And I say some of these 1890 houses wow me way more than yeah. the civil war houses. They're so, really cool. So, just because your house is built in 1920 or 1890 doesn't mean it's not no, I know. You know wow. I, I have those, uh, what are they called, pocket doors between yeah, my living room and my kitchen. Now, there's classic. I love that. That is not a Civil War house. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but the, another thing that they have, uh, now I'm really geeking out Go, for you. Go, do it. Uh, <laughs> is the Sanborn fire insurance maps, um, which oh, yeah. were done. And you can see through the years any kind of changes on your lot. So it, you'll see huh. if they add an addition, if they add a, if they have a carriage house out back. Uh-huh. So it changes, and you can follow those through. I think they, I want to say they pick up like in the 1890s. Okay, is when they start. They are only through a little time period, but you can pick it up and say, okay, lo- empty lot. Hey, it's a, it's the front portion of my house, you know, and. 10 years, 20 years later, hey, look, they put an addition on. Mm-hmm. So those are very handy, too, to yeah, see there's, changes. Yeah, there's a weird thing because there's three units in our house, okay? Um, the unit next to me is like a mirror of mine. But at some point in history, they decided they were going to cut mine in half and then build a wooden addition on to whatever that lap, back half of the building yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. And so it's this weird thing where, like, I can hear what's going on in my neighbor's hallway when I'm standing in my hallway because they really just sealed off a doorway. Yeah. Or, like, downstairs, there's a doorway at the bottom of the steps. And then you get right out of the stairwell and you're into the kitchen. And there's another door right there. But So it's just, like, this sealed off door. Yeah going into their living room. And so I can, you know, when the kids or the grandkids are over, I can hear them all playing and stuff. And I'm like, shut up! <laughs> you know, because I'm a single guy. I don't want to hear that. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, so it's really weird to see, to try to like, like, like unravel all the years Why? of change. I want to get to the original house and see what yeah. the original house was a like. A lot of times, like I, like I said, rentals. You know, in the borough was notoriously rental properties. So they may have had, you know, it's split. It's identical. You know, the two sides, the one big house, two sides identical. So it was a two family. And then at some point they may have added another addition Mm -hmm. and changed it so that they could have a three rental unit going on in there. The fun, the real fun part is like some of the, uh, I was just recently in a house up near Heidlersburg and this is so common for me. I walk in there and they have the stairs have been moved. So there's so much going on. It's like it's like you and I. I mean, we we change our houses to fit us. Sure. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't cuz I have an antique house and I don't Right, you don't want to mess it. <laughs> I want to ruin anything that's original. Right, I don't blame um, you. But back you know, they didn't care about that. They didn't like, for, for instance, I was in this stunning, beautiful, old, old, 18, maybe 1800, 1810 stone house um, up near Heidlersburg. And the staircase, which I know, looking at the 
looking at the construction, I say this is classic center hallway, Georgian, mm-hmm. you know, type mm-hmm. of stuff. Very even, very symmetrical. This episode is now available over at patreon.com slash addressing Gettysburg. Please help support the show and become a patron today.